Okay, now we got another video uh, for you guys. This is the issue with the instrument cluster where your fuel gauge, water temperature, and oil pressure go bunkers, basically, for no apparent reason. They shoot up. They, they do all sorts of weird stuff. You turn on the turn signal, you have no more oil pressure and that sort of thing. Now, the way this happened to me is there's two issues involved in this. Is One is, this is the 12 volt supply for the clock. And what happened was when I took it out, the overprotective, that uh, 6.3 millimeter shoe came off and I hit the metal, which is connected to the cross bar down here. You can see this, that metal piece. And that makes contact with my ground wire, which is these two pins here. Four and six, I believe it is. Yeah, four and six. So here you can see it blew the track. And that's where I lost the ground from left side, clock and uh, RPM gauge, and the right one, fuel, oil, and uh, water temperature. And you can see that someone had put in the wrong LEDs already or the wrong <clears throat> lights and that has all burned out here. Some people, they make a connection when this happens to them from here to gone. That will work too. What happens is this bus bar here, you can see this how this is corroded, makes or it connects the ground here and the ground over here together. And they come in a star configuration. So both sides come in to four and six. And that's how this thing is grounded. So if you lose the ground from either side without having this taken apart like I did and shorted, that means that this part to this here doesn't make any contact anymore. And what you can do is get one of these little tiny spring washers and put them in between here and when it is assembled on the bottom side here. This way they will make contact again. Or you could make a wire from here over here. Depends on which side has better contact, but either one can lose it. Either one loses it. This side goes erratic. No more connection to ground. They basically did a star configuration for noise protection, and that's what created this. If you got it completely going bunkers and you have no connection from here, from this bar to four and six, then you have a blown track. If you still have connection here and here, then that means you have no connection to here and to this here and you need to basically put something in there clean the contacts off and put that in i use these little lock washers in between and that works pretty well and i have the problem is to get this aligned this was just making bad contacts too is these holders here because they're basically completed melted someone has used the wrong bulb for this with a higher wattage rating to get more light out of it because they didn't know how to adjust the uh uh, the potentiometer here so and that's how you get to this this is a completely different video but i thought i posted this because i've seen this on these bulletin boards that people are having a lot of problems with it and that's it so it's either the blown track here somewhere between here and these connectors you do a continuity test through or you have no con continuity from the oil pressure fuel gauge uh, water temperature side or to the clock side going to your connection this is the only ground connection you had don't daisy chain it from here. It's not a good thing for noise. You want to have it going through the star through your center cable. Okay, have a great day. Thanks.